What's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to fix crashes using FabFilter in FL Studio and this might also affect other DAWs as well. So this crash is the graphics acceleration crash. Mm. Uh, now this will affect you if you're using newer FabFilter plugins, um, anything that was after 2012. So what is graphics acceleration? Why is it crash crashing? And uh, why did FabFilter decide to use it? So. Graphics acceleration is used by FabFilter to give you a smoother experience and to give you a more responsive UI, user interface, and also to give you a higher frame rate. Everything looks more fluid. And the benefit is that uh, you're gonna have more CPU available to your plugins, more CPU available to your DAW, so it's to improve performance. So it seems to be an issue that affects both NVIDIA and AMD users. So it's affecting both platforms so don't worry, it's not that it's an AMD isolated issue or NVIDIA issue. The way you can note if uh, your project is crashing due to this issue, the graphics acceleration in FabFilter, is if you're using your project, everything's normal, and all of a sudden one of the plugins becomes unresponsive, transparent, or just grayed out. And then when you go to open up the plugin, it uh, just crashes your project and you're forced to end the process. So this indicates that it's relevant to the graphics acceleration and there are some steps you can take to disable this and to make your project reliable and no longer crash. So the uh, steps, uh, I'll put a screenshot just to guide you. I'll uh, kind of use some screen uh, capture here. So you're going to want to navigate to this registry entry. So take a look at this and you need to create a new value and change it to zero. What this will do is then disable the graphics acceleration. All your presets, your projects will remain the same. Nothing will change. And on the Mac end, it's a bit different on the Mac OS. I haven't done that personally, just on Windows. And most, most of my users are probably using Windows. If you do want to switch back uh, graphics acceleration, just change that same value to one, that registry entry that you created. Not sure how it's done on Mac OS. And basically this will make FabFilter no longer crash. Uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is that don't be surprised if you notice that FabFilter Fab becomes super, super slow and sluggish because the drawback is that now it's putting all the strain on your CPU and those plugins are not going to be as fluid. You're not going to see that 60 FPS. It's going to be very sluggish. So it's okay for the moderate user and it's okay if you want to set some settings and close it. But if you're somebody that loves to fiddle around for minutes and hours in FabFilter's plugins, this probably won't be a solution or a long-term solution, at least as something temporary to get you by. Um, otherwise, too, if you're somebody that only experiences this during long sessions of FabFilter or using it after a lot of instances, maybe you could disable, or sorry, you could keep graphics acceleration and disable it afterwards. Keep note of that. If you're using a project that contains any FabFilter plugin and your project all of a sudden crashes unexpectedly and you need to end the process or one of your FabFilter instances becomes dull, becomes grayed out, then go ahead and follow this guide. Uh, check out the link below and you'll be able to disable graphics acceleration. And the only con is that plugin will be slow, sluggish, but of course everything else will be reliable and no longer crash. Hope you found this video useful. Um, I think this only pertains to FL Studio, but it might affect other DAWs as well, like Ableton, Cubase. Um, if you guys are feeling grateful, please check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash alinadem. Any amount helps, helps fuel my content. It helps me create more videos, better videos for you guys. Hit the like button, hit the dislike button, comment, subscribe, that all helps. And I will see you guys in the next video working on some fresh, fresh music. I can't wait to get it in your hands and I will see you later. Yeah, vegan,